journey home, or at least the idea for the journey home course kind of originated naturally, I guess, um, over the last 17 years that I've been teaching here, uh, I started noticing a pattern, I guess. Um, I had an unusually high percentage of soldiers that would take my classes. At first, I wasn't sure why they were coming to me, but the more soldiers I talked to, the more it became obvious that they had heard or discerned from somebody else that I struggled with certain things um, that you see in conflict zones. There are experiences that you have there that are difficult to leave behind. The main thing that surprised me was that the experiences we were reading about and studying about, things like PTSD, um, the exposure to prolonged trauma, and the impact that that has on everybody, that we were actually going to see that in the classroom, right? This real people. We're not, we're not simply having a dialogue about it, but we're helping real people do this, you know, um, function in the classroom, function among other people. Now you're studying not just the history and not just the soldiers and the wars and all that, and that's, that's great, but you can expand that into some of these memoirs and these narratives that are written by actual veterans who are coming home and they're navigating that journey home in print. I think naturally takes them to the next step of writing their own narrative, writing their own story. But what I suspect this great benefit is, is that they've been acknowledged, you know, that we, somebody cares. I mean, we just can't, we can't really overestimate the value of somebody caring, of somebody listening. To walk into a classroom where you know there are, are veterans, you know, it's humbling to walk in there. But that's a perspective this perspective of humility that we all need, you know, because it allows us to listen to other people, it allows us to learn. These students to tell their story, to verbally talk about their journey home, to in a written format talk about their, their journey home, to look at other wars and soldiers and their journey home and all this stuff, I wish more people would take this opportunity to really investigate what our soldiers go through. We have a tendency in this nation to be very, very quick to send them to war, but we're rather slow to help them when they get back.